everyone hope you are doing well today i am going to share with you about a basic idea of cell so what is cell cell is the fundamental unit of life and also the structural unit of life when you are see something like uh, some sentences or some words or some picture then your contraction of muscle cell will happen in which place or in which organ it is in your eyes in your eyes due to the contraction of muscle cells you can see some words or you can see some sentences and also it sends some signals to your brain through the another cells that is nerve cells so the nerve cells can carry forward your signals from your sentences or words or tv or some picture to your brain then you can create you can create some memories some learning process so nerve cells the muscle cells those are basically cells nothing else so cells are the fundamental and the structural also the functional unit of life a brick every brick every brick in a particular house which is like cells in a organism in an organism and also we can say that a particular cell is also a organism how let me tell you first what is the definition of cell so firstly the structural and functional unit of life is cell this is a single cell organism and there are different types of cell organisms too ribosome lysosome we will we'll discuss later this is single cell organism like amoeba here this organism is made up with only one cell the one cell can perform different kind of uh, different kinds of functions so here the structural unit of a particular organism or a particular living organism or a particular life which is cell there are also another some species or another some organism like plant cells animal cells those are multicellular organism there are different types of cells are present and their functions are also different and these are all multicellular organism like plant cells animal cells etc in a particular walls there are different types of bricks as you all know walls is made up with different bricks so each brick is like cell so this is basically the introductory part of cell and what are the functional unit already i have said that the nerve cells the muscle cells their functions are different they perform different types of functions activities like the muscle cells the one example is the muscle cells which helps to contract contract your eyes or con due to the contraction of the muscles and you can see something and also the nerve cell which transmit the signals from one nerve cell to another nerve cell and it creates a memory or the learning process which is permitted by the nerve cells so these are all about the living examples right and there are different types of single cell organisms and also multi cell 
organisms. That's all about the cells. So, this is the first lecture of cell. The second lecture is coming soon. Thank you. Thank you.